Okay, people, I'm gonna try as hard as I can not to laugh while doing this video. What's up, guys? And is back again for another video. Time for my 2012 E3 wrap-up video. Today, we are gonna be focusing on Microsoft. Now, as you guys already know, I didn't really have much hope for Microsoft at E3 during this year as far as wowing me, surprising me, in general, just delivering a good conference. You know, we already knew they were going to be showing stuff like Halo 4. We knew that they were going to be showing Gears of War. I thought that maybe, just maybe, they would prove all of us wrong. We'd be eating our words. But no! Well, you see, the problem I have with this conference is that it was just genuinely bad. I mean, when you look at the other conferences, especially last year's, they were bad, yes, but... They were so bad, you can laugh at it, you can have fun with it, like get a couple boys together, you know, pop up with a couple beers, drink it, just laugh at the lols, man, the lols. But this one was like, they weren't going for lols at all, they were completely serial. Completely serial. Alright, so, they open up with Halo 4. As you know, when it comes to Halo 4, I'm pretty excited for it. The Halo series, I don't have a problem with. Um, I've played a shit ton of Reach, a shit ton of Wars, I really do enjoy the games. Uh, so Halo 4, I am looking forward to, just generally for the multiplayer mode. The single player, however, what they showed, it really didn't look impressive. If you're a Halo fan, you're going to either like it or you don't like it. Personally to me, as a person who is sort of a fan of the series, I really wasn't that impressed with the Halo gameplay. I definitely think they should have showed the multiplayer more because the multiplayer, they're not doing a beta for why didn't they show it at E3 then? Why didn't they tell us, hey guys, I know you're skeptical about this multiplayer, you know, we're doing a lot of different things, so you know what, here's some gameplay of it. No. So you know what we're gonna have to do? Wait till the game releases! Oh, yay! Awesome! Woo! So if you're a Halo 4, Halo fan, you're either gonna like it or you don't. Then they move on to Splinter Cell Blacklist, which... I'm really hoping that this is just for E3 that they're showing this type of gameplay because it did not look much like Splinter Set at all. Let me just tell you this right now. It looked like Uncharted meets Ghost Recon meets Michael Bay. That That's essentially what it is. I was talking to some friends on Skype about it and like I said, it was maybe for the E3 demonstration. That's why they were putting more action, etc, etc. So if they have stealth in it, and it's not just this action-based run-and-gun shooter with quasi-stealth elements. I'd look forward to it more if they do have a, an even balance of the two. It's just that the past couple Splinter Cell games, well, mainly Conviction, mainly Conviction hasn't been all that great. Then, you know, I'm not going in chronological order. I'm just talking about the things that interest me. They go on to show more Tomb Raider. Mm, Tomb Raider, it is what it is. You know, if you like this reboot, then you're going to go crazy over the gameplay. That's what they showed. Uh, I, I found it kind of funny that they, they made an error to the knee joke when the person was demoing it lower, uh, lower using the arrows and just shooting it and hit the knee and he grabs the knee. I don't know if anyone else caught that. That was just me. Comment below if you actually did. Uh, I mean, it looks pretty good. I know a lot of people are saying that, oh, it looks like an Uncharted ripoff. You know, like personally to me, Uncharted drew inspiration from Tomb Raider. Tomb Raider's drawing inspiration from Uncharted. What's the problem in that? They're both fantastic games in their own rights. And this Tomb Raider game is looking like... I mean, from what they've shown, it is dealing more with action and all that junk. But the gameplay trailer they showed last year dealt more with the environments and actually having you think. So I think that um, this is going to stand on its own two feet apart from Uncharted. They can both exist. Um which is why I'm looking forward to the new Tomb Raider game, in addition to actually having a female protagonist that I would enjoy playing as. Laura Croft, I could never get behind her in the other Tomb Raider games. I, I really couldn't. This time around, for some reason, I'm like, it actually works. It actually works. Woo! Now, then you move on to the other Microsoft exclusives. You have Fable the Journey, which looks like complete ass. You got Forza Horizon, if you like Forza, if you want to play something different, but it's still called Forza, you're going to play it. And you have Gears of War Judgment, which was revealed a couple days ago. You see, the problem that I had with this conference is that, if you couldn't tell, they did have games, but the games that they were showing, we already knew a shit ton about, or they threw them to the side. Like when they were talking about Fable Horizon, um, Fable Horizon, they were talking about Forza Horizon and Gears of War Judgment, what, they showed like 30 second trailers of each of them? 
Really? That's it? I don't go to E3 just to see, oh, little snippet teaser trailers of things. I want to see actual gameplay, especially if it's on a conference. Really? I was expecting something from Gears of War, something from Forza. Hell, even something from Fable. But no! I mean, those are Microsoft's three biggest exclusives next to Halo. No, we're just going to throw them to the side for what they do next, and that is Connect features, Xbox Live, movies, music, Microsoft. I get that you want to tout this as an entertainment box. You want to get people to, for Xbox to be their go, number one go-to place for movies, for music, for video games. We get that. We know. You've shoved it down our throats for how many years now? There are constant ads on the dashboard about it? Every fucking press release? We know this. We don't need to see more of it. I mean, that's my biggest problem. They're talking about, oh yeah, Xbox movies and such that we've already seen that we know Xbox can do. We know the competition can do it too. In some cases, better. Why do we need to see this? And the one thing I did like, though, is that they, they were not shoehorning Kinect as much as last year. Sure, they had those instances where, yeah, you got Kinect support, but that's pretty much it. They didn't go full on for 75% of the conference like the last two years was. I liked that. Thank you. Thank you, Microsoft. But then they go on to a partnership deal with Nike. They have some Nike Connect fitness game coming out. Yeah, like we don't need another one of those already. It's not clogging the market, these useless fitness games. Really now? And they, they were on there for like, what, 15 minutes? I, like, I really need to see that. So you pushed Gears of War Judgment and Forza aside for Connect fitness and Xbox Live features and things we already know about. Awesome. <laughs> and then they go on to the Xbox Smart Glass thing, which is honestly a novelty. I don't really see a lot of people actually using that sort of thing. They were talking about how they had this thing where it's, it's more about bringing you into your game where you can look at your tablet and it shows you things, additional features or extras that are happening in your game. Like they were showing Game of Thrones and they were showing where it actually took place. They showed Halo and it was actually like some waypoint thing. I, I mean, this is really going to be a niche thing. This, I don't really think people are going to catch on. They're, it's not going to adapt. I mean, it, it looks like, honestly, for those who want to have a tablet and want, and want to give them the illusion of the Wii U, when the Wii U is actually completely different than this, you know, this is just something like that I could do on my phone, you know, if I'm on, if I'm playing a game and I see on my phone, like, oh, hey, awesome, I didn't know that this would happen, cool. I don't know if that's a tablet exclusive or you could just do that on any other device like Androids, iPhones, or the Windows phones. But still, it's pretty damn useless to show your conference, Microsoft. You could have done this at, like, um, I freaking CES earlier this year or something, or anything but now, I mean, for Christ's sake. And, you know, that's the biggest problem that I'm still pissed off about. I mean, they're showing more things that we already know about and we don't care about than the actual core games. And when they do, they shove them out to the side. But Internet Explorer on Xbox 360, guys. Internet Explorer. You know what we're going to use Internet Explorer for on Xbox? We're going to use it to download Google Chrome or Firefox. That's exactly what we're going to do. Internet Explorer on Xbox. I'm sorry, but that is a perfect combination. A match made in hell. You got Microsoft and Internet Explorer. I'm sorry, but I. this is just too funny. It's like, out of all the internet browsers, we gotta go Microsoft Internet Explorer. <laughs> oh, that's just beautiful. And then they go on to, they announce three new exclusives, Ascends, New Gods or something, whatever. They have this game called Matter, and they have Loco Cycle or something. If you're interested in them, then you might like it. And then they do this other game, Wrecketeer, which is like Angry Birds with Kinect. That's all it is. The chick on there had a pretty cool tattoo, and her tits were awesome. Um, and, you know, that, that honestly was Microsoft's... I forgot. I just remembered. You fail 
in every sense of the word, when you have Usher on your stage. This is the funny part. This, this, this just sealed the deal. This was the icing on the cake. Bringing out Usher. Dance Central 3 promotion. I'm like, Dance Central 3. Tree. Tree. Dance Central 3. I mean, cool. It's an okay game series. The only reason anyone should own a connect. But you have Usher on there legit giving a performance. Not talking about the features in the game. Not doing a quick little dance. No. A legit performance with explosions up the ass. Was Michael Bay producing it? I bet he was. This is not a concert. E3 is not about whoring a music artist. E3 is not about showing things we've already seen before. Showing things that don't even apply to the gamers. Why the hell was Usher on there performing? You know what? I'm surprised. This is the guy who created Justin Bieber. And nobody did anything. He was on stage. I mean, seriously, every single one of the game journalists in there should be ashamed that they didn't take action. This is the guy who gave us Justin Bieber. You know, I half expected that he was going to be up there to announce Justin Bieber, the Kinect experience. I half expected that. But that was the lulzy part of Microsoft's E3. That was the part that I just... I was dying laughing. That was the best part. Everybody was on Skype laughing about it. It was entertaining. That is quality. Quality entertainment for the lulz. That is the laughter I was expecting, Microsoft. You disappointed me. You disappointed me. What happened to last year's lulzy experience and the year before that? What happened, man? What happened? I mean, you had the games, you just didn't promote the games. And is there anything else I want to talk about? Oh, Black Ops 2. Woohoo! Another Call of Duty game. Great. You know what the sad thing is? Black Ops 2 is probably going to be the best Call of Duty since World at War. I'm just throwing it out there. But man, they got to retire that engine. That engine is just on its last legs. Yeesh. Resident Evil 6. Action Fest. Michael Bay explosions up the ass. And we're going to end this video off on a high note. South Park the game. This is what me this is what got my ass out of this computer chair going crazy about when they brought out Trey Parker and Matt Stone, the South Park guys. And you know what the best thing was? They were cracking jokes about Microsoft. You know, we are here to show you this experience that connects you and your Xbox and your tablet and your phone to your refrigerator. That was a great joke. And they were genuine. They were not using a teleprompter. They were talking about this game. I loved it. South Park of the Game is looking incredible. The episodes come to life. It, it just looks like a lot of fun. But other than that, the few games and the Usher lulzy performance, this conference was just terrible, people. And that's the sad thing. It, it, it seemed like they were trying to get better. It really did. But... Promoting your game system as more of an entertainment box and bringing out Usher and ignoring the core gamers. I mean, outside of the Call of Duty frags. That was disappointing. Sony, Nintendo, you guys don't have to do much to win this war or whatever you want to say. Show one game each, one new game. You already won. You already won.